Well, hello everyone. I just thought I would uh, share with you guys what I'm doing today on my uh, workbench here. Uh, I'm doing another custom guitar finish. This time, not an electric guitar, but acoustic guitar. This is actually called a dreadnought uh, body style with a cutaway, so it's easier to get to the higher frets when you're playing. Um, has a rosewood uh, fingerboard and bridge. Um, and what I'm going to do is lower the action on this uh, guitar, and that comprises uh, I filed down the bridge so that the bridge is a little bit lower. And then when I um, adjust the truss rod, it should be nice and low, real easy to play. Um, uh, I make sure the uh, frets are nice and smooth on the edges. Uh, I don't really talk much about the uh, setup of the guitars. I uh, mostly talk about the artwork, but I use these files. These are called needle files, and I file the frets to make sure they're nice and smooth because nothing's worse than trying to play guitar with sharp frets that feel like they're going to cut your fingers. So anyway, <clears throat> that, that part I'm doing right now, what I'm doing is applying the um, holographic medium again. I, I was using this holographic medium by Folk Art. And I, I'm applying it only on the inside. So what I did is I hand drew the uh, artwork here. Let me see if I can take the camera and get to, to it. I hand drew the artwork um, with the uh, metallic pins. I've got something that's like metallic um, Sharpies. They're uh, permanent markers. And I take that and I draw with those. And then on the inside of the... Um, Thing. it's still drying you can see it's sort of wet I'm putting gl a glitter medium which makes it sparkle uh, kind of the way they do Christmas ornaments uh, just on the inside of the artwork I haven't finished this lower part here I just did the top part with the medium so when that fully dries that white part will go away and it uh, will actually look very sparkly in the Sun today it's kind of gloomy so there's not really much Sun I'm using my uh, shop li lights here to, but what I did uh, to get this uh, interesting effect, uh, my mother said it looked kind of like wallpaper. I guess that's sort of true. This has got a damask uh, theme to it. And I took a damask, uh, um, I guess this is like a stamp made of um, rubber. And I put um, glaze on there and I just stamped on the sunburst because it had a beautiful sunburst finish and I didn't really want to hide the wood because I always like to let the natural wood show through. So I just put the, uh, the uh, stamp on there with the um, glaze medium in a darker tone uh, so that it looks like damask marks on the um, body on the surface on the top here. And then I did a larger one, an artwork to kind of match it. Uh, that's hand hand drawn so anyway uh, when I get through with this I'm also gonna do some work on the headstock I'm gonna probably put uh, like some faux abalone inlay on the headstock so that'll also have a nice decorative look to it anyway I hope everyone's doing well um, I've been staying busy for the holiday season and uh, thank you for watching the video bye bye now